So I uh, got checked into my hotel and uh, managed to get some, some games in once, uh, once Raptor and Ashoa showed up. So uh, it's been a reasonably productive day. I still haven't slept. Um, it's 9 o'clock or something now. 8.30, I don't know. Um, I've been up for like 30-something hours. Um, but got to power through, uh, trying to stay up till 10, 30, or 11 or so, so I don't uh, end up waking up in the middle of the night and I can try and fight through jet lag. Um, I, uh, I played a bit with the uh, green-red ooze deck that I made and uh, pretty quickly came to the conclusion that ooze wasn't that great. Um, a lot of the decks right now have Tragic Slip, um, which makes ooze you know, really not particularly impressive. It's just you know, it's, it's something that, it, that can just get killed, um, whereas back when I was playing originally, Tragic Slip wasn't really a popular card, and uh, Ooze was pretty much unstoppable. So uh, I switched the deck around a bit, um, added some additional red, because I was able to uh, you know, cut back on the green mana I needed, um, which also let me put in uh, Thunder Rail Hellkite, which I think is incredibly powerful right now, and just incredibly powerful in general, um, as well as Kessig Wolf Run, which is you know, a great card in a deck with a lot of mana creatures um, that can end up flooding out a bit, um, and you know, can push you over tokens, uh, you know, the, uh, Wolfier Silverheart, which was previously in the deck, um, instead of uh, Thundermaw, because I didn't have red mana for Thundermaw, um, was just kind of embarrassing, uh, unless it was paired with the Trampler, or I had a uh, Rampager against, like, the Black-White Humans decks, because you sort of get chump blocked multiple times, and, you know, just it really wasn't that impressive. So, uh, I'm liking the deck for now, and uh, we'll see how it continues to test. I'm kind of scared of uh, Naya decks. Uh, I'm kind of scared of... Uh, Unyielding Courage. I do think that the ability of Green Red to play Burning Earth um, against various control decks, Jun, Blue Red, etc., um, pretty much eclipses anything that Naya gets. So it really depends on, you know, well, do I think that the field will be um, decks that I would rather have the tools Naya has or that I'd rather have Burning Earth? Um, and just, a, a, you know, a more solid mana base. I'm not vulnerable to opposing Burning Earths. Um, and, you know, I, I get to play a bunch of wolf runs, or at least several wolf runs. Um, I think the deck's, the deck's pretty solid, and I, uh, I like how it's been playing. And uh, still a few more days to test, um, but I got a couple other, a couple formats to figure out, too. Got a draft, um, both M14 and Modern Masters. Um, and I got to do something with this scab before, uh, before I got to look pretty on, uh, on camera, because it's kind of kind of annoying me. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Um, uh, we're actually about to wander around Amsterdam for a little bit, um, grab uh, grab some dessert, maybe some drinks, and uh, then call it a night. When it, once it actually gets dark out, my body tells me I should be sleeping, rather than just I'm exhausted and I pass out. So uh, that's it for now. I'll catch you later.